so you're clear. Everything is riding on this meeting. And I mean everything. We need this sale. Don't blow it. Ah, the Dander 500. The question that must be on all of your minds is... Ugh. Ugh. The question... That, the question that's probably on all of your uh. minds... On all of your mind. On all of your mind. Is... How can the dander f <laughs> 500 be good in my life? Uh, uh, or? <laughs> my customers. Uh, uh, Welcome to the nap zone, a time in the afternoon when the brain, like a baby, wants to take a nap. As you saw, it does not make sense to schedule an important meeting or teach a class in the mid-afternoon, 3 p.m. in this example, though that's not a hard and fast time slot. You would make better use of the time if you did something requiring less focus, like checking email. Most of us grab a cup of coffee and attempt to plow right through it. The problem is, you can't plow right through it. The brain appears to be trying to downcycle during the afternoon nap zone, and intellectual processing gets hobbled. It might sound far-fetched, but you should actually consider taking a nap at 3 p.m. One NASA study showed that a 26-minute nap improved a pilot's performance by more than 34%. A 45-minute nap made the boost last more than six hours, said Mark Rosekind, the NASA scientist who conducted the research. What other management strategy will improve people's performance 34% in 26 minutes? <laughs>